The FIP430B is compatible with most EXFO products, including OTDRs and the FTB test platforms. However, if you are looking for a dedicated standalone field inspection solution, EXFO also offers the MAX FIP. The MAX FIP shown here is part of EXFO's MAX tester family of handheld devices. This test unit is inspired by the world of tablet PCs and features a large, intuitive 7-inch icon-based touchscreen display. The only buttons found on the unit are the Home Quick Menu button and the Power On Off and Standby Control. The unit also features an LED battery charge indicator for the rechargeable lithium-ion battery, which can power a full day of intensive field testing. Now let's take a look at the top components of the Max FIP unit. The stylus pen can be stored in the slot shown. This tester also features optical plug-and-play options such as a GEX power meter with a range up to 27 decibels and a visual fault locator VFL for quick identifications of fiber breaks, bends and bad connections or splices. Underneath the protective tab there is a standard 10 megabyte to 100 megabyte Ethernet port in addition to two USB connections that can be used to connect the FIP400B inspection probe to external storage devices to expand the 2 gigabyte of internal memory. There is also an AC power supply socket for recharging the unit. The antenna symbol on the back of the unit indicates that it offers both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity options. The kickstand support is very useful for obtaining a good viewing angle when the unit is not being handheld. Now let's take a look at the side view with the stand. The side view reveals just how thin the unit really is, i.e. less than two finger widths wide. Although compact, this unit is a truly rugged fiber test instrument that can be shaked, dropped or knocked over and which adapts to any harsh environment. Now let's take a look at the optical plug and play options and see how simple it is to install the power meter and visual fault locator by yourself. Shown here is the actual Max Tester power meter and visual fault locator part supplied when ordered separately or when you upgrade your unit in the future. The whole installation takes under one minute and is also very easy to carry out. Simply unscrew the four small bolts attached to the metal plate covering the location for the power meter and visual fault locator part. Next, insert the optical part which fits into place very smoothly and then replace and tighten the bolts. This procedure is for the Max FIP, but because the same plug-and-play optical options are also offered on the Max 700B OTDR series, the same fast and easy self-installation steps apply. Please take note of the following small details. You may have noticed earlier that there are two small hooks located on the back of the unit. These hooks can be used to attach the probe cable using a 90-degree USB adapter. Doing so ensures that there are no wires in the way and protects the USB ports and connectors from stress and damage. Now to wrap up this quick FIP400B and Max FIP kit overview, here's a snapshot of various standard and optional accessories, including connector cleaning devices, multiple tip adapters and our hands-free carrying bag, which can be ordered to build the ultimate field inspection kit.